Hi, tell me guys, what would you do if you saw a body of a dead whale lying on the shore? I think that you maybe want to come closer to take a photo. Well, it turns out that this is actually very dangerous, because corpses of whales can explode. That's right, just like bombs. Brace yourselves guys, because we are about to crack the mystery of exploding whales. Whales that are brought ashore are always dead. They rot and become sort of like time bombs. Modern science have no explanation why whales explode. There are a few versions, however, that causes this phenomena. Whales are the biggest animals on Earth. They are long livers and they have long livers. Those that live in the whereabouts of Greenland can live up to 200 years. They never really look old and they function well till the day they die. The only visible feature of their age are their eyes. The lens inside their eyes, to be more precise. By the way, whales get blind quite often. But that's not a problem for a creature like whale, because their hearing is actually extraordinary. They don't have any ears like most animals. Instead, they receive sounds through the vibration in the lower jaw and internal middle ear. And the sounds they make are incredible. Whales are the loudest animals in the world. It's like you can sense them 15,000 kilometers away. They're not aggressive and they wouldn't want to attack you. Humans are not included in their diet. Although, if you swim too closely, they can accidentally hurt you. Because if you compare yourself to a whale, you'll seem sort of bit like a little ant. So, an encounter like that can end up tragic. It is especially dangerous if a whale was once hurt by humans. People who hunt whales are in great danger too. Whales are very smart, you know. They can overthrow a big whaler boat if they want to. So I wouldn't recommend hunting whales. Or any other animals. So interestingly, whales can leave without food for like 8 months. But in the summertime, they actually eat quite a lot. They can eat up to 3 tons of food in a day. Every time a whale inhales, it takes in so much water, it exceeds its body weight three times. The biggest whale of all is the blue whale. The blue whale is the biggest animal on the planet. The biggest blue whale found by people was uh, 33 and a half meters long. Its weight was 176 ton. It was found not far from the South Shetland Islands. Can you believe that a heart of this whale was about the size of a car? Whales are loners, and they always swim along. And boy, they swim a lot, like seriously. Sometimes you can see a skeleton of a blue whale in a museum. So how come whales get brought ashore? People have been thinking about it since the times of Aristotle, who, by the way, wrote quite a lot about whales as it happens. More often than not, the problem seems to be connected to their health and age. And, of course, the, the human interference factor is also a big issue. When a whale dies in an open sea, its huge body descends way down to the bottom of the ocean, where predators like sharks and killer whales eat its body. And later on, crustaceans and all kinds of invertebrates come over and start feeding on it too. For about 10 years, the huge body of a blue whale serves as a nutritious source of vitamins for many tiny species. And the deeper it falls, the longer it stays there. We're talking about 50 to 100 years. And so, sometimes when a whale dies, its body actually stays afloat and soon enough gets brought ashore. When they're alive and get close to the shore, they have very little chance of getting back into the ocean. Because they just bury themselves in the sand with their fins and the tide only makes it worse. Being thrown ashore doesn't do them any good. They get dehydrated and die shortly after. These creatures are designed to dwell in open waters, not on sunny beaches, you know. So, when things like that happen, and whales don't get help from human beings, they usually die. After they die, their bodies begin to decompose. 
they get filled with gases which make them grow in size. Sometimes it makes them look 2.5 times larger than they actually are. So they essentially become a sort of like a time bomb. And so if gases don't come out through their ass or mouth, they are ready to explode at any moment. There are quite a few documented cases of exploding whales, all due to the enormous amount of gases. The way biologists and environmentalists deal with it is, well, they try to dissect the corpses. But even though they are professionals, the tools they use are not always safe and at times risky. But they say that it's better than random explosion that can cause harm. In the year 1970, near the state of Oregon, the corpse of a blue whale was blasted with some dynamite. They wanted to destroy the body quickly and efficiently, but something went terribly wrong. The gases created additional impact and so the organs scattered around the area of 200 meters. One piece even hit the car, totally destroying it. And on top of that, they didn't even destroy the body. In 2004, in one of the towns in Taiwan, a whale corpse exploded when they tried to transport it to the research center. It was a total mess. Organs were everywhere. People in buildings and streets were all covered in organs. Luckily, no one was hurt but it sure took a long time to put the skeleton back together and get it into the museum. More naturally caused whale explosions happened in Britain, Colombia, Canada, and a few other countries. So if you guys ever see a huge swollen corpse, do not come anywhere near it. This can be very dangerous. Also, think twice before you decide to make a selfie right in front of it. Alright you guys, if you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends, press the like button, and remember to subscribe. More interesting stuff is on the way. See ya!